Well, this thing about life in the universe, you've done many, many uh, TV series, and most recently one on the solar system, Yeah, where the search for life is a main theme. Well, yeah, we just saw, as we speak, last week, the Europa Clipper spacecraft was launched yes. uh, on the way to Europa. We have an entire show devoted just to that. We visited yeah. the Jet Propulsion Labs and, it, it, I and saw felt the excitement there. of everyone there. It's great, isn't it? It's the first spacecraft I've seen, major spacecraft being built. So I saw the Clipper. And the thing is, to, the scale of that thing, it's the, it's the largest spacecraft, isn't it, that's ever been sent into well, the if you add, Well, if you add the... You, so oh, the most massive, I yeah, think. Yeah, here's the... It, it may be, but there's another important fact. Solar panels have gotten more efficient. Mm. In the day, back if you were going to explore beyond the asteroid belt, you couldn't use solar panels no, because the intensity powered, of the sun wasn't high enough. This one has a very deployable, large solar panel yeah, that'll yeah. help it along without having to rely entirely on the, on the nuclear yeah. uh, decay yeah. of plutonium. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's a huge spacecraft. Yes. And it, the point is that, that Europa, Jupiter's moon, is a prime candidate for, for a habitable world. In the, uh, what we know, almost certainly, I'm always, the people who I know who work on the mission say, don't say we know, we're, we're almost sure there's a saltwater ocean below the surface. I think it's pretty indisputable now.